Hello everyone, my name is Queen Bee Line, back to you with another video. This video pertains to baby Harry Condi, who was unfortunately found today in a pond after being reported missing yesterday. Condolences to his family and community at this time. There will be a brief press We've conference. Seen a boy from yesterday, the investigation. Let's listen right here on Live Now from Fox indicating that three-year-old Harry Condy, who had been staying at a house on Frida Lane in Lowell and had been seen just a short time before in the backyard of that home, could not be located by the people who were caring for him. Lowell police responded within a very short period of time. Many, many other agencies and assets joined them and a search was conducted, an extensive search of that area. The police were able to confirm that a neighbor had seen little Harry at about, just about 9.15. He was in the basement of his home. When he came back, after having seen him outside and did not see him, he inquired as to where he had gone. That's what triggered people realizing that he was no longer in the vicinity of the house, and that call was made to Lowell police. That search continued till about 10 o'clock last night resumed early this morning. Tragically, at about 10 after 1 this afternoon, Harry's body was located in a pond adjacent to Rowley's tree farm. That pond is located about 650 feet straight from the house, if you traveled in that direction. I want to be clear that we have no idea how Harry came to reach that pond where he might have been or how long it might have taken him to reach that pond. His body was found close to shore in about five feet of water. He was clothed in the clothes he had last been seen in and there was no indication of external trauma. That pond was searched at about 11 o'clock yesterday morning by Lowell Fire Department. Obviously, Harry was not located in that area. And I want to, again, emphasize we do not know where he was from the time he went missing until he was located in the pond today or where he may have been walking. If many of you have been down in that area, you know it's a very rugged, some, it's some very rugged terrain there. The approximate full area which was searched was about 4.7 square miles. And it was searched using a variety of assets which Superintendent Goldner will speak to. Horses, dogs, dirt bikes, a number of types of vehicles we use to cover that terrain. This is obviously every parent's worst nightmare. A child who disappears for a very short period of time the excruciating hours of the search, and then the recovery of his body. This is clearly not the result that anyone over these many hours of search would have anticipated or wanted to have occur. Something is not adding up. If the allegations are indeed true, and the search party ended at 10 p.m., then someone or persons put baby Harry's body in that pond after the search party took a break after 10 p.m. and early dusk prior to the search party researching areas to finding baby Harry's body. As you've heard, they've searched that pond at around 11 a.m. and baby Harry's body was not there. So that lets me know that someone within the community had baby Harry. And when they found out that the FBI was involved and over 300 persons, including the FBI, local authorities, authorities were closing in they had to unfortunately get rid of baby Harry's body there is no way this baby could
could have wandered within the community and not have gotten a scratch, a, 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 a cut being outside that long. Something is not adding up. The math ain't mathing and the timeline ain't timelining. Now in regards to the babysitter, they alleged that they were taking care of another child when baby Harry wandered outside. If this is true, why wasn't the yard properly secured? There are other things that I would like to say, but since this is still an open investigation, I will yield my opinions until this case is closed. We have to be mindful that these children are still developing and they need our guidance. So when we are taking care of toddlers, children, we have to ensure doors are locked properly, yard doors are secured properly, and if you see something, say something immediately. Again, something is not adding up. We'll take a few questions. We don't know where he went when he left the house. I want to emphasize that. So even though the pond is located on a straight line from the house, we don't know where he went or where he may have traveled or what time he might have arrived back by that pond area. We just don't know that. Right. How did you find him today? They were researching. As the colonel just indicated, places were being searched again because we know that he was likely on the move through some part of the time that he was missing. So we were checking and rechecking to see if he might have gone to a place that we had already searched. He wasn't there, but he might have then been in a place. They were rechecking all of those places this morning. How he left the house. Uh being watched by the babysitter and the babysitter lost sight of him? Apparently he was outside at some point he was seen outside by the neighbor and at some point then the neighbor noticed he wasn't there and made inquiry as to where he had gone and that seems to have been what sounded the alert that he had wandered off. Would the babysitter face any charges? Which too soon in the investigation to know any of that. You know, I, as I said before, I think this is every parent's worst nightmare. Everybody who's ever had a toddler is in terror of that toddler wandering off. And really, I think taking that to heart, so many people came out last night either to offer to help in the search, to offer support to the folks who were searching in the form of food and water. Very gracious in terms of we were going through people's yards, searching their houses, their sheds, their cars, any place that a little person could be hiding. People were incredibly gracious and responsive. The church that we're here at, folks from this church, made and served food for people, provided help for people all night. Was this dive team down in the pond that finally located him? Yes, they were, the state police divers were in there this morning and they located him. And so is it easy to search missing one day but then you find him the next day? Anything could I suppose anything is possible, but he, very shortly, so the divers, were, the Lowell Fire Department was in that pond around 11 o'clock yesterday, which was pretty close after he went missing. Again, condolences to the family of baby, of baby Harry Conde. I hope that the family does get answers in some form because no one should leave their ch child in daycare or at a s sitter's house and to get the 
result that this family did. I've also left phone numbers in regards to missing persons hotline. Be safe out there. Thank you.